what is up raider nation it's your boy i'll be frank it's your man i'll be frank it's your best friend i'll be frank whoever i am to you i'll be frank because i'll be frank about them raiders baby you know i love them took the l on monday i was in the building Hopefully, uh, I was hoping, I should say, I was hoping we were going to get a better reaction and uh, have a better show displayed in front of us as fans than we got on Monday night. Didn't happen. I thought for sure we were going to whip them and just whip them good. Then it happened. Here we are. Wednesday. Hopefully, you're all cried out. I'm still a little pissed. <laughs> but it's better to be pissed than pissed on. So, we keep it rolling. What was the biggest takeaways? What were your biggest takeaways? Please get down in the comment section. And to my Chiefs fans that get up in my shit. It's all love though. I mean, what are you gonna do? We're rivals. You're supposed to talk shit. I ain't heard of no Chiefs fans that uh, knew how to do it any differently. And I don't know any Chargers fans. Actually, I do. I said I took that back. I knew two and one is gone, but we still have one left. He's out there. Trust me. And he's talking all his shit. He's happy. He's Herbert this and do what bop that and that other little motherfucker. Eckler, him, bullshit. It was one of those games, man. That little lightning thunder delay. No shit. I was sitting in there, and I was like, "Is that a part of the, like, is that their thing? They're ringing off. It's a part of the stadium sound. That's like their shit." I talked to my pops. Was like, he's like, oh, "I don't know." I'm like, hmm, that was interesting. All of a sudden, that little halo thing went out. Their infinity. TV the fuck oh shit shit really went out like oh look fucking PA system dude gets on there like you guys gotta go to the concourse nobody moved <laughs> nobody moved they're like nah these were some expensive seats we're gonna sit right here we're gonna wait this delay out sure enough we all waited the delay out but man we weren't expecting that we weren't expecting that. They brought the thunder. They brought the lightning. They were ready to put fucking play. It might have been a, you know, what was that, an omen? It happened. I was in my gut. I was like, this don't feel right. In my gut. It didn't feel right. So I also got into it with, some, uh, with another fan. And I was like, hey, yeah, that ain't right. We're supposed to be unified. It's supposed to be the nation. You know, it didn't, it didn't go down like that. Oh, and by the way, today's sesh is brought to you by none other than Medellin Lemonade brand. I think it's like an offset of Cookies brand. Good shit. I don't know if it's uh, Sativa or Indica. I think it's I think it's a half and half hybrid. So. Is it any, I don't I can't remember. I'm sorry. I started this video before I Hey. Raiders, man. What the fuck happened? Uh what like 21 zip at halftime, bro. Are you for real? I only a Chargers fan would ever fantasize something like that happening. There's no way. There's no way in anybody's right mind you have the number one offense up until that point and you guys couldn't get nothing going like nothing made you feel like Jacobs got rushed back a little bit too soon huh I know it, it did it to me I was like man what is he doing like he don't look right you don't look right our line wasn't right they weren't right but they're starting to get it together right now in practice that's where it's going to come in. That's where it's going to come through. That's where it's going to shine. That's where we're going to get better. 
Now, the defense did give up four scores. But in all honesty, we should have been able to. We had our opportunities to score. I think everybody saw that that's, that was out there. We had our opportunities. We fell short. Ask yourself, how many teams in this 100-year league, it's been around for 100 years, more actually, I think 101 now, how many teams went undefeated all regular season? How many teams? I think it's two. I think it's two. So, no, you're not going to be perfect. But losing the way we did, it makes it makes you like, ah, like that, like, it would have been cool. Like, I think we all would have been okay with us losing 28 to 20. No one wants to lose, obviously. It's just win, baby. That's our slogan, right? Of course we want to win. But I think we all would be okay if we lost 28 to 21. Like, and we were in the game. And then all of a sudden they just score a late touchdown or something like that. Like, ah, that's heartbreaking. But fuck, we were in it. This way, you feel like you weren't even in it. Like, the whole time. Even when we were starting to get close, man, we didn't even convert. Uh, it was like third and goal or something like that, and then old boy missed the field goal. Perfect timing. It just, that was like it, man. You just felt it, like, man. And they scored again. It was like, ah, that was it. I'm getting out of here. I'm going to go get me a, some tacos or something. This is bullshit. What are they going to do? We got all these dudes that are hurt now. Like, some of these guys, you know, who knows how long they're going to be out. Who knows? It's uh, it's disheartening. It's football, you know. I I apologize. This one is just like a rambler, y'all. I apologize. I just, I'm just rambling, just getting it out there. Um, you know, just letting it flow. But, yeah, man. Stephon Gilmore, he got traded to the Panthers. Panthers are moving. Panthers are making Panthers are an interesting team. To the Panthers for a 6th round draft pick. 6. This is one of the best DBs in the league. Consider maybe what top 10. You want to say he's aged or whatever. He's not as what he was used to like 2 years ago. Wow, he's still one of those guys, you know what I mean? He's not Patrick Peterson old. He's not even Xavier Rhodes old. Uh, he's just like like a six-round pick. You're going to tell me, Raiders fan, that we didn't have a six-round pick that we were able to give up? I'll give a four. Now, here's four. Look at that guy. We need him. We need him now, you know. Hopefully, Ha Ha's going to play. I don't remember if he played Monday. I didn't even notice if he did. I don't know if anybody else notices. Did you just notice you're down 21 to zip at halftime? <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know, man. Hopefully, um, hopefully those guys heal up quick. Um, it was a tough loss. I think I've said that already. I think you hear it in my voice, the inflection. <laughs> but that Medellin, woo! It's chilling me out. It's chilling me out. I admit, I admit. Hunter Renfro, man. Right? Hunter Renfro, right? That tackle? Mmm! How do you not love that guy? That dude is that dude's got HOF written all over him. He got it written all over him. He just started. I love it, man. I think it's a great thing. Uh, who else did, you know, pretty well? Um, uh, shit. It's hard to pick. It's hard to pick. I'll tell you who I would like to see more of. Yannick. I'd like to see him. I'd like to see him get, like, a, you know, two sacks here versus the Bears. I'd like to see him get two sacks. I'd like to see Max Crosby get two sacks. Byline got two. We need more pressure. We were doing good the first three weeks. You know, things happen. Things happen. I mean, what are you going to do? You can't win every game. We've already been through this. But some games look bad more than others when you take a nail. And, uh, you know, it's about that time, and I just want to tell anybody that's out there that's not well, do whatever you can. Do whatever you 
can possibly do to be positive. Be positive. Whatever you got to reach into, reach into your depths of yourself and be positive because you will get the positive back. I promise you. And for all those out there that are already well, that's fantastic. And I'm happy for you. And if you could, please share your well with somebody else. And until next time, Raider Nation, one.